Welcome to Sage Audio. Today let's cover how to mix instruments, but first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Create natural sounding EQ curves. For this video, let's focus more on mid-frequency instruments like keys, guitars, violins, or strings, and so on. Now, also, the chapters are in no particular order. When equalizing instruments in a mix, I find that natural sounding settings work the best. By this I mean using slopes of roughly 6dB per octave. This is especially true for my high pass filters, which I set to act almost like a high pass and a bell on the fundamental. Let's take a listen to these filters and notice how they improve the clarity of the instruments in a natural sounding way. Use sample delay for placement. Although typical panning can be used when mixing, I find that delay-based panning works really well for particular instruments. With a sample delay, I'll delay one channel by a few milliseconds and cause it to be placed in the far left and right image. Now, I wouldn't use this on the main instrumentation, but more for parts that occur occasionally. Let's take a listen. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Try binaural panning on pads. Speaking of panning, binaural panning is a great way to create a full and complex sound, as well as separate instruments. Now, if your mix has a pad or similar droning sound used for filling the spectrum, try binaural panning and place the signal near the back and have it spread. This really helps the pad fill the mix and keeps it from interfering with other instrumentation. Let's take a listen. High frequency saturation for clarity. Saturation, although often associated with the distortion that it causes, is a great way to add some clarity to an instrument, especially if it lacks high frequencies. I'll use Arturia's Tape Mellow Fi and saturate my key lead to increase high frequencies and alter the transient. I'll also introduce some of the preamp emulation to distort the mids and give the sound some more character. Let's take a listen to how saturation can increase the perception of high frequencies. Collective Instrument Bus Reverb At some point during a mix session, it's a good idea to send similar instruments to buses where they can be collectively processed. For mid-frequency instruments, I'd highly recommend collectively processing them with mild room emulation reverb, be it studio emulation, general room emulation, or impulse responses of studios. Giving the instrumentation collective timing helps create a cohesive and natural sound. Let's take a listen to the subtle effect that this reverb has. Compression settings for instrument bus. How you compress your instruments is also incredibly important, especially when you're using bus compression to affect their dynamics and timings collectively. I'll use the PSP Impressor for the bus compression and try a Fairchild emulation, but lower the mix dial in the bottom while also introducing some oversampling and saturation. I found the moderate release, medium knee shape and combination of feedback and feed forward compression worked really well at gluing my instruments together and creating a powerful sound. Let's take a listen to the effect that this compressor has on the instrument bus. Ensure room for drums with Golf Oz EQ. Although I want to focus on mid-frequency instruments like guitars and synths, it's important to consider how they interact with other signals like the drums. I'll use the Golf Oz EQ on the instrument bus and sidechain my drum bus to adjust the response around the drums. Let's take a listen to the EQ being used without a sidechain and then how the sidechaining of the drums creates a more balanced response amongst the two buses.
If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Try Side Image Expansion. Using my instrument bus, I'll create a send and parallel track on which I'll use the plugin MSED to mute my mid image. Now at this point, I have my instrument's side image isolated. I'll then introduce a transient expander to generate transients on my instrument's side image. Then I'll blend the effect in with the channel fader. The side image rarely has these types of transients, so including them on our instruments has a really unique but pleasant effect. Let's take a listen. EQ instruments around the vocal. Sometimes we can EQ particular signals by equalizing related signals. For example, if my vocal is harsh, I could amplify some of 6 to 8 kilohertz on my instruments to mask sibilance on the vocal. Or if I want the vocal to have more presence, I could attenuate 2 kilohertz on my instruments. Now I find that using the instrument's EQ to affect the vocal often has a more natural sound than affecting the vocal directly. Let's take a listen to this EQ being introduced and consider how the vocal subtly changes as a result. Using with the blend instruments and bass. If our instruments reach lower frequencies, in particular ones that compete with the bass, we can use stereo width to remedy this. Now the bass will typically need to stay centered or mono, but the instrument's lows to low mids can sound great on the side image. I'll use a mid side EQ on the instrument bus and attenuate lows on the mid or mono image, but then I'll amplify the lows on the side. Although this seems like it wouldn't work, we achieve room for both the bass lows and instrument lows, as well as keep the sound focused. Let's take a listen. Introduce Parallel Instrument Air. If we want our instruments to have an air-like quality, we could set up a parallel send from any instrument or our instrument bus and first insert a linear phase EQ that isolates the highest frequencies. Then we can use reverb with bright reflections before blending in the effect. The effect is very subtle, but definitely adds something valuable to a mix. Let's take a listen. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.